This is Quintus Lollius Urbicus. He was born in Tidis, Numidia, which is Algeria today. He joined the Roman army and had a well-documented career. He was governor of Germania Inferior before being appointed governor of Britain in 139. There, he was based on Hadrian's Wall and refurbished Corbridge. When Emperor Antoninus Pius came to power, he asked Lollius Orbicus to build the new frontier in Caledonia. To build the Antonine Wall, he enrolled men from three legions and eight auxiliary units from all over the empire. Once the wall was established, Lollius Orbicus returned to Rome as a prefect. He left the wall in good hands, and here are some of them. Nectavilius, son of Windex, was an auxiliary with the second cohort of Thracians. Auxiliaries were men drawn into the army from across the empire. They were not Roman citizens, but would be at the end of their service. Nectavilius's unit came from modern-day Bulgaria, but he was a brigantis from North Yorkshire and was stationed at Memrils, the largest fort on the wall. Valerius Nigrinus was an officer from the 1st Tungrian Wing, an auxiliary cavalry unit of 500 men. His unit came from Gallia Belgica and was also stationed at Memrils. Pisentius Justus was the commander of the 4th cohort of Gauls. His cohort was involved in the invasion of Britain in AD 43. On the Antonine Wall, they were based at Castle Hill, where he dedicated this altar to the goddesses of the parade ground and to Britannia. Gaius Flavius Beto was a centurion in the 20th Legion and the commander of Rough Castle. The 6th cohort of Nervians, an auxiliary unit from Belgium, was stationed there and they built the Principia, the fort's headquarters.